welcome back to my channel. Thank you for stopping by to watch today's video. If you are a subscriber, once again, I want to thank you for your support. I greatly appreciate it. I'm trying to build this channel and it makes me happy to know that the content I'm putting out is valuable to some people. So if you are new here and you love handbags as much as I do, please consider subscribing and tapping that notification bell to be notified when I upload new content. So I'm really excited about today's video because I finally did it. I finally got my first authentic Dior bag. So yesterday I went to see Downton Abbey with a friend. Great movie. If you love Downton Abbey, of course, you're going to love this movie. So go see it. And we had lunch and we did some shopping. And Dior was number one on my list uh, because I follow another YouTuber. Her name is Trish Trin and she is a Dior fanatic and I watch her videos just bursting with envy. And she did this great video from the boutique maybe a few weeks ago, month ago maybe. Um, but anyway, she was at a Dior boutique and she showed everyone what was new. And they have a new bag this season and this is it right here. This is the small Dior camp bag. Now they do have a larger version of this bag and they've had that for some time. And I have off and on looked at that and considered it, but I'm really trying to quell my desire for big bags. I love big bags, I gravitate towards them, but I'm trying to really stop buying big bags and getting more bags in this size because this is great for all day, every day, and into evening. It holds everything I could possibly need. Uh, so when I saw this bag on her video, I searched on YouTube to see if there were any reviews of this, and I only found one silent unboxing video that was a few minutes long. I watched that video like a million times spent so much time looking at these bags on the Dior website, so I decided yesterday I was going to look in person. This bag does come in six, I think, different styles, and I'll put a link below to the main page so you can go there and check them out. There are four canvas versions and two all leather versions. For me, the choice was between this, the just standard blue oblique version, or what they call the union version. It's like beige and it's got a different pattern on it. And as I was looking at the website, I thought this is gonna be a really hard decision. Uh, when I got into the boutique and I was really happy they had both of them and they put them side by side instantaneously, I knew it was this one. I just love this pattern. I think it's beautiful. The embroidery is just gorgeous and well done. And it's classic and it's never going to go out of style and it's perfect for day. It's perfect to dress up for evening as well. So I decided to bite the bullet and buy it. Uh, it was also really fun while they were boxing it up. She took my credit card and left and um, was gone for like 15 minutes. And my friend said, what's taking so long? I'm like, she's boxing it up and putting bows around it, making it look beautiful. That's part of the whole process. So it does come in this really nice, sturdy, magnetic closure box here. And then you can see the receipt and the big white envelope and the care instructions and the authenticity card are in the gray envelope. And then of course, it came with just the standard white Dior dust bag with the gold lettering. Lettering, gold lettering. Um, and they gave me extra tissue paper too, and it was just pack packaged up really beautifully. Um, but while she was doing that, I was quite happy because the Dior Boutique in downtown San, downtown San Francisco, it's like an L shape. And so I was over on this side of the L and all the other customers were on this side of the L. So there were tons of bags right by me. So I just got to look at all their different bags for like 15, 20 minutes while she was boxing it up. So I was really happy with that. But let's get into this bag. I am going to take you on a tour of the outside. I'm going to show you what fits inside and then I will empty it out and show you the inside of this bag. So it does have the flap closure here that is kept closed by these two buckles here. Um, you can see, hopefully, it has the CD 
logo there on both of these buckles, that modern CD, which I think is really cool. Um, these are in champagne gold, so sometimes they come across as silver and sometimes they come across as a very light gold which I really love. I'm not super crazy about gold hardware and I kind of suck it up with like my Louis Vuitton bags because they, on the canvas, they only use gold hardware to my knowledge. It's not that I hate it, but I prefer lighter hardware. So I was really happy that this came with lighter hardware. It does have the D rings on both sides for the shoulder strap, which I'll show you in just a moment. Um, the oblique pattern, you can see, for those of you that don't know, it's a D-I-O-N-R all there. It has that pattern all throughout the bag with the typical um, stripes on both sides and under the flap as well. You can see these things here. No one knows what they're for. I asked the sales associate as well. I'm like, what are those for? I've seen reviews of the larger one on YouTube and no one can seem to figure it out. And she said, well, we can't either. Everyone here has been trying to figure out what these are for and no one knows. I thought it was maybe to convert it to a backpack and you can attach the strap here and then you loop the strap down through here and up through this side and connect it there. And it does create backpack straps but the shoulder strap is so short that no one would be able to wear it as a backpack. So I have no clue really what the purpose of these elastic um, slots here are. And, and they're pretty tight too. So even getting the buckle around it was, or, or through it I should say, was not that easy. One drawback possibly is there is no back pocket here. I wish it had a back pocket. I don't know though how that would change it. Would the pocket stretch and then look unattractive? I don't know. It was probably a design choice, but you're gonna have to have everything inside here, which is fine for me because it's really easy to get in and out of, but there is no external pockets, so you're not gonna be able to access anything super quickly. Now I want to talk about the shoulder strap. It did come with a blue shoulder strap with Christian Dior written several times um, on both sides of the strap. It does have the clasp here and it does say, if you can see it right by my index finger, it says Dior or has Dior engraved there. I'm not sure if you can see it. And then, you know, you have the standard pull to open and close. Um, the clasp to attach it to the D-rings. The stitching on this piece of leather and aside from the heat stamp tag inside, and this is the only leather on this bag, which I like, less animal product, but the stitching is really well done. Um, we'll have to see how this strap holds up because it is a fabric strap, so I am a little bit worried that it's gonna get rough and dingy over time. Uh, but we'll have to see. It is fully adjustable. I have it adjusted to the absolute longest position. And when I'm wearing it and standing, the bag comes down to my wrist. So it does work perfectly fine for me. I'm six foot tall. It's perfectly comfortable to wear as a shoulder bag. Um, you can also adjust it the other way to make the shoulder strap half the length it currently is. So I'm just gonna try and see if I can do this pretty quickly here. No, I can't. Um, well, maybe I can. So you just pull the strap out and then adjust this down here. And I just wanna show you this because I think some of you women out there, you might, like it like this. So I've adjusted it to half the length. And then when you attach it to the D rings and you have it as half of its length, you can wear it much higher up on your arm like that. So it's kind of like the Fendi baguette in that sense if you make the shoulder strap shorter. I won't do that. I like wearing it just as a regular shoulder bag. It's more comfortable that way. Um, it really sits too high on me to wear a crossbody, so 
that is a minor downside because sometimes I just feel like a little uneasy if I'm walking around, especially at night and I want to cross body a bag. So that's one of the downsides. But if you're shorter and more petite than me, you're probably going to be able to wear it as a uh, cross body bag. But I will just wear it as a long shoulder. Um, so for you women, you can probably wear a cross body, long shoulder, short shoulder. So three ways for you. Um, so again, it just attaches on the D-rings on the outside. There's a quick look at the bottom. I'm not sure if I mentioned the dimensions, so if I did, forgive me, but I'm just going to do it again. It is nine inches in length, six inches in height, and three inches in the depth. And you can see it's really well made and well constructed. No feet, but I'm glad there's no feet. I'm never going to set this on the ground when it can hang from a chair. Um, and I feel like feet on this would have been silly. Um, so to get in the bag, you just unclasp these clasps right here, push those in, um, and then the bag opens and you have all your contents inside. And I will show you what fits inside, but I just want to point out these two flaps here. So on every picture on the Dior website for every version of these bags, every picture has the flaps out like this. I asked the sales associate because the the union one had them untucked like this but when she pulled this one off the shelf they were tucked in and tucked under and she said she thinks it's meant to do that to close so that the top of the bag has a um, full and more secure closure if they didn't have any flap there you could see there is a space at the top um, but you can also uh, wear it like this I'm not sure, but I, I think I like it tucked in better because these look, of course, on the pictures on the website, much more stiff and straight and perfect. And you can see they're, they're not. Um, it looks kind of janky to me, although when you're wearing it over your shoulder with the shoulder strap with these up, it, it does not look as janky as I think it looks um, with it just sitting there like this. But I do like to tuck them in. I like the look of it uh, tucked in better. I think it just looks cleaner and smoother and crisper. So you can do that. The larger one, I think, um, the reason these were here in the first place was for the larger one, you can, it has a bigger flap apparently, so you could stuff it higher and then these flaps would provide coverage. But this one, you cannot stuff it that high because these, these adjustable clasps, I mean, I have it almost as long as they go. They just wouldn't reach up there. So just one thing to consider, you can wear it either way. Um, I'll show you what I have inside. So I already have an organizer. This organizer I actually bought for my Louis Vuitton. Sorry, um, can you say that again? God, Sorry, I hate, I hate Siri. I'm bad at editing, so forgive me. Um, so I bought this organizer for my Louis Vuitton Pochette Matisse, and I hate it. It does not work for that bag because each of these two envelope -y type things is really thick on the sides and it just really puffs out that bag and I just worry about overstretching my bags but I did keep it and I use it in another bag of mine and it works really well in this bag giving it separate compartments um, so behind here I have just a, a few face masks tucked away back there so putting these in there kind of creates almost five compartments one in the front this one this middle, this one, and one in the back. But I don't ever want to overstuff my bags. So I have some mask stuff back there. Then in this uh, compartment here, I have AirPods. Now I wouldn't have to bring these every time I go out, um, but I did because I listened to music while I was walking to my friends. I have a key holder here, six key holder. I have a wallet. It's you know a small wallet, but it's pretty thick. I also have a couple lip balms. I don't know why I always feel the need to have more than one because I'm afraid I'm gonna lose one and then I'm gonna be SOL. And then I have nicotine lozenges and then I have my little 
hand lotion, which you've seen in other videos. So that's what was in that back pocket there. And then in the front, I have a pair of sunglasses. I have a pair of reading glasses. And then I have a microfiber cloth. So everything that I have in here would go with me every time I went out, possibly with the exception of sunglasses and AirPods. I obviously wouldn't bring the sunglasses if it was night. And I wouldn't bring my AirPods if I was going to meet people somewhere where I wasn't walking. So this, and I think it's from Zamuni or whatever it's called. This is, I think, where I got this Pochette Matisse um, bag insert. So it works pretty well in here. And then I probably have a little more room on the sides of this front one if I wanted to put anything in there. So, oh, I should say in the middle of them, I actually had my phone. Sorry, I forgot about that. So I just put my phone in this bag between these two pouches here. And that proved to be a really good place for it. Uh, so on the inside of the bag, just like their other canvas bags, the book tote, I know, is like this. The delight is like this. I can't remember what other bags are like this. The larger one of this bag is like this. There is no lining inside the bag whatsoever. There's also no internal pockets of any kind. Uh, the only thing in there is the... Christian Dior Paris made in Italy tag right there. Sorry, you're just not going to be able to see it. And then there is a date code on the back of it. Um, so very basic on the inside. But I knew that, of course, ahead of time. And I knew I was going to find an organizer for it anyway. Um, it would have been nice if it had like a zip pocket in the back. But I knew it didn't have that. And again, I always buy organizers for most of these bags uh, because I don't like just everything flopping in there loosely. I like it to be organized. Um, I will say that this bag is so light, which is one of the things I absolutely love about it. It is just super, super light because it's a fabric bag. So the only weight on this is the hardware and there's not that much of it and it's not really not really heavy hardware either, but it feels like amazing and so well made. I mean, it just feels great. Uh, so they did a really nice job on that. Um, so there you have it. I think I've covered everything I wanted to, um, but this is the brand new small Dior camp bag. So I will again link it below. Check it out. Um, tell me what you think if you like it with these tabs up or if you like it with these tabs tucked in. I think I like it. Well, that's not a very good way to look at it because it's empty, so it's um, not as easy to close because it's empty, but I, I kind of like it better like that. And these are, you know, it's hard to do it when I'm looking in the camera, but these are super easy to clasp when you're walking around. It does take two hands to clasp them. So you'll have to have it hanging from your shoulder and use both hands, but it's really easy. So there you have it, the brand new small Dior camp bag in the oblique blue. Take care everyone and I will see you soon.